Of a scandal that has engulfed County Supervisor Dave Roberts may end up costing his job. It's tainted his political career and distanced him from his fellow supervisors. Roberts has not gotten out in front of this scandal, and politically he could end up resigning rather than running for re-election. We get more on the story tonight from KUSI's Steve Bosch. Steve? Sandra, political consultant John Dadian says Roberts cannot recover from this scandal by being silent. He has to confront the accusations against him head on. Roberts' problems began with disgruntled staffers who felt he was autocratic and lacked political skills. But the accusations turned serious when a staffer accused him of misusing funds, followed by a complaint alleging inappropriate behavior. Rather than addressing the charges, Roberts sent out his former campaign manager. Throughout his entire term, Dave Roberts has held himself to the highest ethical standards and he has done nothing improper, unethical or inappropriate. Since then, four staffers have resigned as the scandal widened and took on an air of the scandal that drove Bob Filner from office. One similarity is there's a new shoe dropping every day. Uh, for the past couple of weeks, a new allegation or a new leak comes out, and so that's very damaging. And when that starts happening, you need to address them one by one, and they haven't been doing that. The legal complaints filed with the county will move forward, and others may be filed, moving the legal process into the campaign season and threatening Robert's tenure. That's why I say a resignation probably with, if not in the next few months, within the next year before re-election, because that, pr that process is not going to stop. Politically, Roberts has become isolated from his fellow supervisors, some of whom say he's on his own with legal bills the county will not pay for personal indiscretions. He's done a good job as supervisor. The Republicans would not have put up a, a, a credible candidate before this scandal, but now they will because Dave Roberts gave them a sword. A Roberts resignation would be a gift to the Republican Party, and there's no shortage of candidates. The most attractive right now is um, Encinitas Mayor uh, Kristen Gaspar. Um, very similar to Pam Slater, you know, very, a lot of similarities. Female elected official from Encinitas, which is a major city in that district. Also, uh, Mayor of Escondido, Sam Abed, is being talked about. And then you have Mark Kersey of the C San Diego City Council and Brian Mansheim, an assembly member. All of those are front runners. On the Democrat side, a candidate feeling Roberts cannot recover from the scandal might enter the race early to challenge Roberts for the party's nomination on the chance Roberts will not run for re-election or even resign before the election. Steve Bosch, KUSI News.